Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, it's a scam of somebody who needs their ass whooped. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, it's a scam of somebody who needs their ass whooped. Any damn ways, I hope you guys are doing good. Your girl is back, honey. Yes, I've been in Orlando, Florida. I went down there for VidFest slash PodFest. I had a great time speaking on the panel. I met many wonderful people, but now it's time for me to get back to work. I know y'all have been waiting because don't nobody spill no tea, honey, like lovely tea, okay? Let's go. So if you guys do not know, a big scam is breaking. I don't know what the hell is up with 2019 and all these damn scammers, all these damn folks trying to get over. We got the Jesse Smollett situation. Then I'm finding out that Wade Robson is now suing the Mike Michael Jackson the state trying to get some damn money once a damn again. Well, now we have several celebrities, A-list stars, designers. They have all been caught in a college entrance scam for their children. We have Lori Laughlin, AKA Aunt Becky from Full House. We also have Felicity Hoffman from Desperate Housewives. They're just one of two major celebs that were busted recently. And also fashion designer Massimo has also been indicted as well. So what's going on is that basically um, what happened is that a lot of these rich Hollywood parents and designers, you know, a lot of these A-list people, they're basically trying to throw their money, fame, and power around by paying to get their kids into these high-end colleges, these prestige colleges. So instead of their kids being actually smart or actually talented out on the volleyball court, basketball court, or football field, like many of us regular schmegler people, you know what I'm saying? Before we can get into colleges, you have to like literally be smart to get into these schools. You have to have some type of ability to get into these D1 schools, D2 schools. Well, because these kids are not up to par and the parents don't want to be embarrassed by sending their kids to a technical college or a vocational college, they're basically playing these college admissions people big time money to get their kids into these colleges. They were also paying some of the coaches to get their non-talented children on the athletics team. Some of these kids didn't even play sports. They literally let them take pictures in the school sports uniforms and then sent it over. It's a huge fraud. The FBI is investigating. The thing that trips me out is that Lori Laughlin, aka Aunt Becky, paid $500,000 to get her daughter into USC. That is half a million dollars. How bad were her grades? How dumb was she that you were willing to pay half a million dollars to get your daughter into this prestigious school? Like this makes no damn sense. I mean, the thing is, even if she got in, Obviously, her grades are not up to par. Her study habits are not up to par. So you would have been wasting even more money by putting her into a situation that she was not ready for, okay? There's nothing wrong with going to a technical college. There's nothing wrong with going to a vocational college. There's nothing wrong with taking a break, you know what I'm saying, a year after high school trying to gather yourself and then deciding what you really want to do. All this is doing is doing her child a disservice, okay? You're putting her in a situation that she's not ready for. Obviously, because if she was doing that shitty in high school, she does not need to be going to USC. And that's straight up facts, okay? A lot of these people are looking at being hit with the RICO statute because of how deep this whole fraud goes. This entire situation is insane, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. of new indictments today ensnaring celebrities, CEOs, college coaches in a massive scheme to game the college admissions system. Felicity Huffman, an Academy Award nominee, and Lori Laughlin, the actress of Full House and Fuller House fame, just two of the more than 40 alleged participants in a wide-ranging conspiracy to cheat, bribe, and lie to get the children of the super rich into elite university. Here's and Andrew Lelling, U.S. Attorney for the District of Massachusetts and the FBI Special Agent in Charge, Joseph Bonavolanta. We have charged three people who organized these scams, two SAT or ACT exam administrators, one exam proctor, one college administrator, 
nine coaches at elite schools, and 33 parents who paid enormous sums to guarantee their children's admission to certain schools. This is not a case where parents were acting in the best interests of their children. This is a case where they flaunted their wealth, sparing no expense to cheat the system so, so they could set their children up for success with the best education money could buy, literally. Some spent anywhere from 200000 to $6.5 million for guaranteed admission. Their actions were, without a doubt, insidious, selfish, and shameful. CNN's Brynn Chingers joins us now live from Boston. She was right there as this was unveiled. Brynn, wow. Yeah, exactly, John. I mean, I, I, how elaborate this scheme was, according to federal officials, that's what strikes me most. Uh, we're talking about uh, just an enormous amount of people involved and now arrested. In some cases, some have already pled guilty. Uh, but also just how detailed these schemes were. Now, again, let's talk about the center of this all. His name is Rick Singer. According to authorities, he's already pled guilty to some federal charges. And he basically set up a nonprofit, uh, and parents would come to him and basically ask for his help to get them into elite universities. We're talking about a USC, Georgetown, Yale University. And he did it in two different ways. One route some parents would take is they basically have uh, their, their kids take SATs, ACTs, entrance exams. And he would either have someone who was very smart, as authorities say, retake those tests, changing some of those answers in order to get a higher score for those admission tests. Uh, in some cases, that they would have their daughter or son go to a therapist and get more time to take those con uh, entrance exams. Uh, that was one route. Another route, according to a federal authorities, was they this singer would get in touch with uh, athletic coaches at these universities and have students admitted it through the athletic route, sometimes even faking pictures of uh, these students as athletes um, and basically bribing these uh, athletic coaches to help these students get in that route. Um, I know two names that we've been talking about who were parents that have been arrested is a Felicity Huffman, an Academy actress, a nominee. Uh, of course, we know her from Desperate Housewives, among other uh, movies um, and shows. And then Lori Loughlin, we know her, of course, from uh, Hallmark movies, Full House. She was the mom uh, in Full House. Um, according to these court documents, they took two separate routes. Felicity Huffman, if you go into these court documents, uh, basically asked for Singer's help, allegedly, uh, to take take the tests for her daughter and declined to have him do the same thing for her second daughter. And uh, federal authorities actually said they're not sure why she changed her mind for the second time around. Um, when you look at the, the charging documents for Lori Loughlin, they said that they used Singer's help in order uh, for her, their ki uh, her daughter to get into USC through crew, even though she had no talent whatsoever uh, with that sport. So again, a lot of details just came out in that news conference, um, and it's just mind-blowing the amount of money that was pushed around, how many people were involved, uh, the fact that even some of the children knew that this was happening. Some of the children don't. Uh, some of these students are still in colleges. Um, but important to note, John, that uh, according to these authorities, uh, these universities that were involved uh, had no knowledge of this, but this investigation is still ongoing. Still ongoing and uh, interesting. The level of detail, amazing. Bryn Jingers, appreciate it, right in the room there where they just unveiled these charges. Our legal analyst, Jennifer Rogers and Paul Kellen, join the conversation now. Uh, please don't follow me. You're a lot smarter than me when it comes to this. But let me just start with you first, Jennifer. When you hear the level of detail from the U.S. attorney, the FBI, the IRS, obviously they say the ringleader is agreeing to plead guilty, so they flipped the guy at the top of the pyramid. Uh, what else is your big takeaway here? Well, I'm just impressed by the scope of this investigation. I mean, as you said, they did apparently get Rick Singer to plead guilty. So clearly he, I think, has told them all about the scheme. That must be how they were able to wrap all of this up in just over a year, I think the U.S. attorney said it took. So, you know, it's, it's impressive scope. You know, hopefully these universities will be able to clean house. There are a lot of coaches here who I'm assuming will be fired. You know, what the, the schools choose to do about the students, you know, will be up to them. I'm sure they'll do their own investigation investigations and decide how to proceed. But it's an impressive investigation. You know, I, I do hope that, that Rick Singer, if he's pleading guilty, didn't uh, get uh, a terrific deal out of this, a cooperation deal. 
deal. You know, usually you wouldn't cooperate the head guy against people below him. So we'll have to wait and see when his uh, documents are released, whether it's a cooperation agreement or just a plea agreement. But uh, it's certainly an impressive takedown. It's a, it's a great point about we'll see what the plea agreement is there. And, Paul, you heard the U.S. attorney say they got a tip. They were interviewing a target in a completely different investigation who apparently was trying to give them something, which happens a lot in law enforcement. I'm in trouble. Let me give you uh, something else. Uh, again, your biggest takeaway, and include for me, if you will, the significance of them using RICO, the racketeering statute here. It's a fascinating use of the racketeering statute, which is customarily used against organized criminals. Uh, that's what it was designed for, and uh, the feds now have figured out a way to apply it to college admissions. The result, uh, this is the, probably the biggest uh, college admissions scam in U.S. history. It's really kind of staggering in its dimensions. It's nationwide. It involves some of the top schools in the United States. Um, and it's going down, by the way, at a time when Harvard's being sued for the way they admit minorities to, uh, to their colleges. Here we have, on the other hand, parents who are bribing their way in to some of America's top colleges. Um, and it's a very sophisticated scam that involved cheating on ACT and SAT scores, uh, uh, the forgery of false athletic resumes to make it look like you're some sort of a star uh, athletically and deserve admission to an Ivy League college. So it's a fascinating uh, use of the RICO statute to uh, solve a crime. And obviously to both of you, I mean, it'll get a ton of attention because of the celebrities involved, two well-known actresses uh, who obviously were trying to help their children and go to what the prosecutors say was incredibly corrupt and illegal efforts uh, to do so. But you have, you have A, two Hollywood stars. Uh, B, these schools, Yale, Stanford, USC, Wake Forest, Georgetown, athletic coaches uh, who were taking bribes. In some cases, the prosecutor said uh, the coach put all the money into the program, but in most cases, uh, they kept some of the money and put, either kept all of it or put it in. Just again, as you go through the level of detail here, what does it tell you, Jennifer? Well, I don't even know how they put money into the program. I mean, these were illicit bribes going to the coaches, so I don't even know how they would put money into the program. I mean, one thing I think these colleges are going to have to think about, particularly those that have strong athletic programs like UCLA and USC uh, and Stanford, are you know the oversight that they give to these coaches and what do they do once these uh, these students arrive and you know all of a sudden they claim an injury or they're just not participating you know there ought to be more oversight of these athletic admissions because clearly this Rick Singer uh, person was able to recruit coaches from all over the country. I mean, how do you do that? You can't just walk in or pick up the phone and say, hey, would you like to take some illegal bribes? So the fact that he was able to get so many participants at these top colleges really, I think, should be a wake-up call to these schools to keep a better eye on this process. And, and Paul, help me just a little bit about what we're talking about in terms of penalties. Again, I'm going to focus on the two known names. But if you go through the parents, all of the parents here, and some of them are from the business community, a lot of rich, privileged people here. But Felicity Huffman and Laurie Lachlan, both charged with conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. Uh, what are we looking at here in terms of potential punishments? Well, for most all of the parents involved, you're looking at uh, a felony that could lead to five years in federal prison. Um, it, this, of course, depends upon what the federal guidelines um, are with respect to their involvement. But they're all very, very serious felonies with very, very serious uh, jail sentences. Uh, and um, it's, uh, they got a tough road ahead. Tough road ahead, to say the least. Paul Kellen, Jennifer Rogers, appreciate it. Brent Jingris as well. Honey. Okay, so the rabbit hole definitely goes deep. You know, and I think the sad part of this is that so many times we tell our children, you know, to do the right thing, have values, have morals. This is a woman who was on a show that talked about nothing but damn morals, okay, full house, and she's involved in a scam like this. You know, it's really sad that so many children, especially children of the rich, famous and wealthy get into these prestigious schools and they don't deserve it. You had children who bust their ass all through high school, straight A students, good students, but they can't get to these schools. Why? Because they cannot afford them. And it's very hard to get scholarships to get to these schools. But now you have people who are literally paying to get their children in. And this is nothing new. This is nothing new. These scams have been going on for a long time. This is why a lot of these, you know, elitist people, these people in politics, they weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer. But yet and still, they went to Princeton and Harvard and Yale and everything else. Whereas, you know, somebody who probably tried 10 times as harder, who was probably 10 times as smarter, 
couldn't go because their family was poor and they didn't come from the right zip code or they didn't have the right last name or they didn't have the right connections. Because a lot of this stuff goes on, not just in colleges, but at jobs. You know, you'll have people who will spend, you know, three, four, five years in college working on a degree, but then they can't get into their degree field because they don't have the right connections. They don't know somebody who can just, you know, bring them in. They have to start from the bottom. Whereas Hollywood and other places run on nepotism and favors and being cool with people. You know, so this is just really sad, but it just goes to show you that some of these people who have money, power, prestige, lack core morals and core values. And to me, that's what's more important than money. So okay. if you guys don't know, right now, everybody named Mama is currently dragging Aunt Becky, Felicity Huffman, and a bunch of other folks on Twitter, okay? They are getting the dragging of a lifetime. And I think the sad thing is that it's just once again showing that, you know, money and wealth buy access to certain things that no matter how hard you work in life, if you don't have a certain last name, if you don't have the money, if you don't have the connections, you will find yourself shut out of certain opportunities. And I think it's really sickening that a lot of these kids who their parents are paying hundreds and thousands of dollars to get them into these prestigious schools, most likely just goofed off in class, didn't do their homework or paid people to do their homework, really didn't do shit, don't even have a vested interest in any of these colleges. The parents just want the kids to go there because it makes the parents look good and some of these people have the worst character traits it's insane okay so I just find this whole situation disgusting I hope they throw the book at them like they're trying to do at Jussie and all these other folks who've been out here fucking up I'm tired of these people scamming cheating and trying to get through the system while the rest of the poor and middle class people we get nothing but the middle finger these parents have not only shown their lack of morals, their lack of character, they've also high key, not even low key, taught their children the same thing. Taught them that in order to win, in order to get to where you need to get to in life, it's okay to cheat, it's okay to bribe, it's okay to pay your way through life as opposed to working hard like everybody else. And Lori Laughlin, she better hope that when she faces the judge, the judge pulls up Uncle Jesse and he decides to have mercy, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning these celebrities and this huge college scam that just broke today. Let me know your thoughts. How do you guys feel about this? And are you like me? Are you tired of all these stupid ass scams thus far in 2019? And do you feel like they should have the book thrown at them for what they were trying to do? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Mm -hmm.